Our final earthquake is from 2014. It's only five years ago, so a lot of people remembered it. Happened on a Saturday night, magnitude five earthquake, widely felt. It doesn't have the same historical significance, but recency matters. There are more stories to pass around from this earthquake. When we look at the headline, we see more quakes to come, fault near Minto, capable of much bigger earthquakes, expert says. We have a photograph from the Alaska Earthquake Center showing the kind of technology that we have today of hundreds of seismic waveforms transmitting data, being recorded live, and being analyzed. So how do we know there are more earthquakes to come? Well, in this case, at the time on October 24th, this was an aftershock. So this is something we've had maybe three aftershocks. It's a reminder that says, as you have one major earthquake, how do we know more are to come? More broadly, looking at the end of this exhibit, I think it sort of foreshadows what we know for a fact is where you have had large earthquakes in the past, you will have large earthquakes in the future. So understanding when, where, and how large is kind of a key question. In this case, looking at why do we think the fault near Minto is capable of much bigger earthquakes? Well, for starters, there was the 1995 earthquake that had a magnitude six, something like 32 times larger than this one. Secondly, we know that the adjacent fault zones are capable of magnitude 7.2, 7.3 earthquakes, such as the Salcha earthquake in 1937. So as we look toward the future, the assessment of these fault zones in Fairbanks remind us that larger earthquakes have occurred and will occur in the future. Finally, looking at the technology from this era, we think back to 1904, Wickersham's diary entry. 1912, where there's no seismic recording, um, just stories to be passed around. And as time has evolved, we have actual instrumentation to broadcast in real time to the point where we can hear an earthquake live right here in the exhibit and see the waveforms come in and see where the earthquake and how large it was come in. So this is a reminder that technology moves forward. And even though I look at this and say, well, how much better could it get? It's going to get better. And it's going to get even faster and more accurate. So it's hard to envision where things go, but we can see from one century um, that we've come a long ways.